Hello, everyone. Let's just wait a couple of minutes for people to join in. Yeah, Melly. Hey, Brandon. It seems like I think you're going to be having um, all the agenda items today. <laughs> yes, all the items. <laughs> all right, let's just give a couple of minutes. Good morning. Hey, Vinay. Hey, Brandon. Good morning. All right, let's wait a couple more minutes. We'll probably start in another two minutes since Zoom usually gives issues. Um, I put in the link to the meeting doc in the chat. So if you could put in your attendance in the, the meeting notes and also um, it would be great if we can have one or two scribes um, to kind of take a few notes. Uh, for those that just joined, we're just waiting a couple more minutes for people to trickle. Thanks, Ray, for volunteering to squirt. All right, I think we have um, quite a good number of people uh, let's get started. Um, so quick announcement before we jump into the agenda. Um, there's KubeCon going on next week. Um, so we won't be having this meeting next week. So that will be canceled. Um, other than that, also, there is the Cloud Native Security Day that's going to be going on on Monday. Um, Emily will be talking about that a bit more in detail later. So. I'll, I'll leave it to her later on. Um, so let's go through check-ins. Let's see, um, people are checking in. Um, it looks like we don't have any updates um, outside the agenda items. Um, so I guess we can skip right in. Uh, um, I'm sorry, I think I, I there's a, uh, Sorry, I just I'm a bit late, so I haven't checked the agenda. But there's um, um, uh, the agenda today is going to be around um, cloud data security day. In the okay, program. there was just one thing I had an update. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Justin, go ahead then. Um, just the um. 
open policy agent are applying for graduation and so they need a SIG security review. So there is a doc on a draft doc, but we need to go, SIG security needs to go through and um, review. So review, review Oprah. I know several people have started looking at it in We've assessed it twice. Um, you know, at this point, uh, I think Justin, the only thing uh, it needs is uh, sort of chair sign off. Um, does it need a, a write up? I I wasn't. I was the only thing. I think there was a Justin did. I think Justin did a draft write up, which was roughly taken from the reviews, but actually there's been a bunch of updates since then because they implemented a bunch of the stuff that we asked for. So I thought I suggested um, that they should update it with what had changed since then rather than because it looked I had this problem in a previous one where it just had a list of recommendations put in the dark, but actually the more interesting thing was which ones had and hadn't been implemented from the TOC point of view. And so some of the, some of the important things we recommended they have implemented, which I think is important. And so I think we should kind of sign off on a version of what's now rather than what's then and say, because it's kind of, it's, it's kind of stronger if they have implemented our recommendations rather than listing what they were six months ago. Absolutely. Justin, did you want to jump in? Kapos? Um, I don't have a problem with that. I was trying to make the process um, not not be onerous for anybody involved. And they did provide information along those, those lines. So I did ask the reviewers especially, but really anybody to take a look and see um, you know, what they thought about those changes. Um, but when it came time to actually writing the document, I I did mostly basically just copy and paste from our <clears throat> request before, um, mostly because I, I didn't want to have to go through an extended process to get a, a new text approved. Yeah, no, uh, I think that's, I think that's fine. I mean, I suggested that they should just maybe add notes about what had been implemented directly there or something like that and I, I i saw there were some doc updates earlier which i haven't had a chance to check but i i think that's a great suggestion i'd, I'd be very happy for the comment on those those points which they kind of have already done in their document so it's i, I think that'd be that would be great yeah ju just a quick update that we've updated the doc uh, with the recommendations that were from last year and what we actually have done uh, to resolve some of those recommendations. So I think the doc's been updated with those details as well. Okay, excellent, good, good, good. That's, that sounds great then. I think then in that case, uh, um, yeah, then we probably just can go to chair sign off then. Great. I'll just take a chair, another look at it and see if I have any more comments then since it's been updated, but that's good. Great, just, uh, Justin, if you could do that as well, and then uh, I'll, I'll uh, try to close the loop later today. Yeah, I, I I approve. Um, whatever I need to do to to do that, I yeah, I, I wrote that thing, so I I approve it. All right. Great. Cool. Thank you. Great. All right. Thanks, Justin. Um, let's see. I think we don't have anything else um, for check-ins. Uh, do we have anyone from policy work group or the NIST um, big data working group for any updates? Uh, I did, uh, sorry, I'm jumping in the middle. I did have a, something that I wanted to to bring up, but uh, uh, I don't know if we want to yeah. go on with a policy working group or? I mean, go for it, uh, but just. Okay, so uh, in total is gearing for incubation and uh, I know that the six, six security made the recommendation for uh, incubation earlier on. There was a discussion on Slack saying, uh, yes, this is still the recommendation. Uh, something I just wanted to uh, 
uh, to double check is, uh, is there any way or like uh, any requirement for the SIG to make a, a public uh, like statement like this somewhere else more official, maybe uh, getting another like, or like just reviewing the deck of the original recommendation or uh, how can we uh, get more of a like, this is the stance that everybody can verify other than like reading the SIG security Slack. Do you have a due diligence doc yet, Santiago? Uh, it is, it is being worked with uh, with Michelle. Uh, I, I could share it. Uh, I don't know, maybe after my meeting with her tomorrow. Uh, would that be what you guys would want? Like, yeah, that's then? that's so far as how we've you know expressed that. Um, you know, we have. Uh, in total, in our README as you know, project of interest uh, to us. Uh, so we capture that kind of in in our in our documentation. Um, but you know, as as far as like a position statement to uh, you know the rest of the CNCF, the way that we've done that with um, you know now with OPA uh, Notary um, and, and other stuff is through that due diligence document that. Uh, uh, we will formally sign off on and, and say that, that we recommend. Oh, perfect. Okay, then uh, okay. I will uh, just confirm with Michelle and, uh, and then I'll send it your way. Uh, should I post it uh, on the Slack or should I send it to... Yeah, drop it into SIG Security uh, on Slack and, uh, and, and ping me. Okay, great. Tag Thank me. you. Thanks. All right, cool. Um, let's see. Uh, Robert, anything from policy site? Uh, no, we uh, didn't have a meeting this week. We have it every other week. So um, okay. we'll progress report this week, but I'll, I'll come back next week. If we <laughs> give right. us an update. Sounds good. Um, and uh, Mark, is there anything from your site? Nope, no news here. All right, cool. All right, let's jump into what we had. Um, the items we had for today. Um, so I will pass this over now to Emily. Hey everyone. Um, so as a reminder, Brandon touched on it earlier, but Cloud Native Con, KubeCon is next week and SIG Security is kicking off with a co-located virtual event on Monday, August 17th, starting um, pretty early for Eastern Daylight Time, but around one for uh, Amsterdam time. Uh, Cloud Native Security Day is next week. Um, I'm opening up with opening remarks, should be short and sweet, but we do have a lot of really great presenters. So if you haven't registered yet, um, go online. I believe registration is still open. I think it's $75 for the entire week and then an additional 20 for Security Day. So, um, Lots of great talks. Hope to see you all online. Um, so that's what I have for Security Day. The other thing that I have is the Cloud Native Security White Paper Working Group has been charging forward. Um, we're making really good progress on getting some content generated. I've been reviewing everybody's comments and everybody's input. And so far, everything is looking great. Um, I've recently updated the GitHub issue. I believe it's 138, it's linked in the agenda. Um, with our new schedule just time bounding when our when folks can expect to have certain things completed by or within. So if you're interested in either joining the group, um, comments on the issue, hit me up in the Slack channel, we'll get you added. Um, other than that, everything is going really well. Cool. Um, and if there's anyone that's kind of um, wants to jump into the, the, the white paper now, um, how should they kind of go about it? Um, you, if you're interested in joining the white paper group, you can comment on the issue and I, I monitor that for updates or you can hit me up in the Slack channel and I will get you added to the white paper channel as well as to the doc with the right permissions. Um, just let me know either through the issue or through Slack. Uh, Cameron asked whether there's a list of topics um, 
maybe we can link the yeah so the issue uh issue number 138 has a complete uh high level outline of topics um and if you're looking for more specific information it's pretty much anything that has to do with the technology underlying cloud native deployment as well as the life cycle processes associated with doing a cloud native deployment. So everything from software supply chain security all the way through deployment monitoring maintenance and upgrades, um, Kubernetes stack, what does that look like? There, there's a lot of different things in there. So it's a, if you're interested in any of those things um, or learning more, definitely recommend joining the group. Um, if you're not an expert in any of those fields, that's fine too. Um, we're looking for people to help also review um, and just verify the content and make sure that it's making sense, making sure we're on target with our audience and with the scope of the paper. I saw a couple of comments in chat. I'll be reaching out to everybody. Um, we're just sending the links. All right, cool. Is there, this is probably in the, in the, in the notes here. Is there a link for uh, uh, paying the 75 bucks and getting in the conference? I am looking for it now. Um, I'll have to post it in the chat. Great. Or you can put it in the, the notes for today. I can look there. Thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna put in this uh this is thing that I found, which is like a register now. Um and I mean it basically brings you back to the coupon registration, but through the registration process I think they will Got they will give you a bunch of things. Yeah. Super. Yeah, I'll post that in the meeting notes as well. Okay. Um I think that's all we had um for the agenda this week. So <laughs> I'll just add my, my pitch again for uh, volunteers who may want to help with the cloud custodian assessment. Still looking for uh, additional help on that project. Yeah, and I, I suspect that we will have. Um, I, I'm expecting us to have a lot of new faces um, probably after KubeCon, so we could try again there. Thanks for your help there. That, that was Robert asking for help, right? So I put a note in the chat. I, this is Underwood. I would be interested in trying to sit in on some of this. Fantastic. I'll, uh, I'll reach out on Slack. Super, thanks. All right, cool. Uh, anything else? If not, we'll call this meeting and then we'll see everyone at QCon. I'll see you. Um, in two weeks. We, ha we also have a security session that's being done by JJ and I think it was JJ and Sarah um, are doing the security session at KubeCon. So drop by if you can as well. Cool. All right, see everyone soon. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, thanks Brandon. You are, folks. And thanks, thanks really so much for, for, for subscribing for us. It's really helpful. Thank you.